get more updates to the related topics please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon you will get the notifications Hello and welcome to Smart Syllabus. So today we will discuss a SSLC topic from the Maths textbook that is Introduction to Trigonometry. Dear students, you have already studied about triangles and in particular right angle to triangle in your earlier classes. So this trigonometry completely depends upon a right angle triangle. Here the meaning of the trigonometry word is in this triangle that means Three, gone, zero and gone. It means it is sides, and metron it means measuring. It means measuring the three sides of a triangle. So this is trigonometry. The basic use of trigonometry is when we know the angles of a triangle, we can find the sides, and when we know the sides of a right angle triangle, we can even calculate the angle between the sides, which is a very important property of trigonometry. because only trigonometry gives us such a opportunity to calculate sides and angles the earliest known work on trigonometry was recorded in egypt as well as babylon early astronomers used it to find out the distance of the stars and planets from the earth even today most of the technological advanced methods used in engineering as well as physical sciences are based on this revolutionizing branch of the mathematics that is trigonometry So dear students today first we'll discuss the six ratios of trigonometry which are just like the pillars of trigonometry so better concentrate on the discussion you will get it very easily following are the six trigonometric ratios first one is sin next cosine third one is tangent next we have cosecant then secant and the last one cotangent these ratios can be abbreviated as sin can be written as sin cosine can be written as cos tangent as tan cosecant cosecant as cosec secant as sec and cotangent as cot so now we will move further to understand what the meaning of these ratios so in a right angle triangle say for example e b and c where angle b is right angled now the opposite side of angle b that is ac this is nothing but hypotenuse now the remaining two sides that is adjacent side and the opposite side depends upon which angle we consider for the discussion for example if you take angle c instead of calling this one as angle c i'll write theta it means now this is known as angle theta now the opposite side of theta that is ab it is called opposite side the remaining side now bc this is known as adjacent side we we'll take one more example so in a triangle x y and z here is the 90 degree now if you take this angle as theta then the opposite side of angle theta is nothing but opposite side this side becomes the adjacent side and the side opposite to 90 degree is nothing but hypotenuse now when you write the six ratios of the trigonometry that is first one sin theta sin theta can be written as opposite side upon hypotenuse that is nothing but opposite side is ab whereas hypotenuse is ac now cos theta this can be written as adjacent side upon hypotenuse 
that is nothing but BC upon AC. In the third ratio, that is tan theta. This can be written as opposite side, that is here, upon adjacent side. That is nothing but AB upon BC. Now further, in this triangle, cosecant or you can say cosec. Cosec theta can be written as hypotenuse upon opposite. That is nothing but reciprocal of sine theta. That is nothing but AC upon AB. Sec theta. That is nothing but hypotenuse upon adjacent which is AC upon BC. Now the last trigonometric ratio that is cot theta is nothing but adjacent side upon opposite which is BC upon AB. These are the six trigonometric ratios which we are going to use in the further exercises. Now these six ratios are according to the triangle ABC. With respect to triangle XYZ, once again we will try to write these ratios. If you change the place of an angle theta, as you know, its opposite side becomes opposite side only. A hypotenuse remains the same, that is always in front of the 90 degree side. Then we have the remaining side as adjacent side. Sin theta. Now sin theta is here. The sin theta is nothing but opposite upon hypotenuse. So this one's opposite side. That is zy opposite upon hypotenuse. That is nothing but xz. Cos theta is nothing but adjacent upon hypotenuse. That is adjacent side is here. xy upon xz. Now, next trigonometric ratio that is tan theta is nothing but opposite side that is zy upon adjacent that is nothing but xy. The next cosec theta is nothing but reciprocal of sine that is xz upon z. Sorry sec theta is nothing but xz upon xy that is the reciprocal of cos now the last one cot theta can be written as reciprocal of tan that is xy upon zy so these are the following six trigonometric ratios which we are going to use in the next exercise so students the next we'll try a trick to remember these ratios in the easiest way. Before that, I think you all know about Harry Potter, right? So today, Harry Potter helps us to understand these trigonometric ratios in the easiest way. So how Harry Potter helps us to understand that, just have a look at this video of Harry Potter. As you see, this film Harry Potter was the first Harry Potter that is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So it was way back in 2000. Now almost 8 series have come already of this famous film as you all know. So in the 8th film Harry is gone very old. Now he's grown up. So from that we can make. So in that film see what you have seen. We have few characters. One is Harry and his aunt. Both have grown, both have already grown very old now. So from this old Harry. And he's old aunt. So here if you look these letters O, H, E and H. O and A. 
that is O upon H means opposite side upon hypotenuse. This is nothing but sin theta. Adjacent upon hypotenuse that is E and H nothing but adjacent side upon hypotenuse that is cos theta. Now O and E hold aunt. So O upon E opposite side upon adjacent side. This is tan theta. So isn't it a very easiest way to remember the six ratios of trigonometry? Now further cosec theta can be written as reciprocal of sine. That is hypotenuse upon opposite side. Sec theta can be written as hypotenuse upon adjacent side. And the last one cot theta can be written as adjacent side upon opposite. So these letters helps us to understand the trigonometry ratios that is old Harry and his old aunt. So this is sin theta, this is cos theta and this is tan theta. So this is how we use this sentence to remember trigonometry in an easy way. For example, this we apply for a triangle. In triangle E, B, C where B is a right angle. So let us take angle C as theta. When we take angle C as theta, the opposite side of angle theta that is EB, it becomes opposite side. DC becomes adjacent and this becomes hypotenuse. Now applying these ratios for the triangle, the opposite side that is AB, hypotenuse that is AC, cos theta that is adjacent upon hypotenuse, adjacent side is BC, hypotenuse is AC, whereas tan theta opposite upon adjacent, opposite side is AB and adjacent side is BC. Once we know the sine, cos and tan, its reciprocals are nothing but cosec, sec and cot respectively. That is cosec can be written as AC upon AB, sec as AC upon BC and cot as BC upon AB. So this is how the trigonometry becomes very easy after remembering this much. So back was the video again and again and try to remember the easiest way of remembering the trigonometric ratios. Now further we will continue with the exercise. In the first numerical in triangle ABC which is right angled at B there is nothing but triangle E B C right angle at angle B AB e, is 24 centimeter whereas BC is 7 centimeter we need to find sin A cos A as well as sin C and cos C. Now the solution part. In this case angle A is mentioned. So the upside opposite angle A is known as opposite side. The side opposite angle B is known as hypotenuse and the remaining side is adjacent side. Now in this triangle only two sides are given that is adjacent and the opposite. Hypotenuse is not there. So we have to first calculate hypotenuse. 
Now, as we know, whenever we see a right angle triangle, first we have to remember Pythagoras. So, by applying Pythagoras theorem, we can find the unknown side. So, according to Pythagoras theorem, in triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, according to the Pythagoras theorem, we have square of the hypotenuse that is AC square is equal to sum of squares of other two sides. They are nothing but AB and BC. Substituting these values, AC square is unknown. AB is 24 square. BC is 7 square. Now, 24 square is 576, whereas 7 square is 49. So, we get total 625, that is AC square. Now, AC is nothing but square root of 625. Therefore, AC is 25 centimeter. This is AC. Now, <clears throat> now continue with finding the sine cos. So the first one is sine A. We know sine A is nothing but according to the sentence old Harry. It means old Harry. Old means it is opposite side. Harry in the sense hypotenuse. Substituting these values, opposite side is nothing but BC. Hypotenuse is AC that's nothing but BC is 7 centimeter whereas AC is 25 centimeter now causing is nothing but old Harry that is sign and he's it means and he's and is nothing but adjacent side he's in the sense it is hypotenuse Adjacent side in this case is AB. Hypotenuse is nothing but AC. So AB is 24 centimeter, whereas AC is what we have calculated is 25 centimeter. Now coming to the second mean, we need to calculate sine C. It means ratios we have to change now. Whenever we see right sign C, the opposite and the adjacent side changes. Now sign C is the focusing angle. Therefore, opposite side of this one is AB. So this becomes opposite side. Whereas BC remains as adjacent side. Now again, sign C is nothing but old Harry. Old Harry it means opposite upon hypotenuse. That's nothing but AB upon AC. Now AB is 24 centimeter, whereas AC is what we have calculated it, that is 25 centimeter. And the last one that is cos C. Now cos is nothing but adjacent upon hypotenuse. Adjacent upon hypotenuse adjacent side now in this case is BC whereas hypotenuse is AC the value of BC is 7 whereas that of AC is 25 centimeter so this is the first solution now moving with the next problem Now the second numerical in this triangle is given whose sides are nothing but P Q R the side PQ is 12 centimeter whereas PR is 13 centimeter the question is to calculate tan P minus cot R the solution is first we will mark the angle this is 90 degree 
so opposite side of 90 degrees definitely the hypotenuse now when you consider the tan p it means opposite to p that is qr is opposite side whereas the remaining one is adjacent side therefore as we don't know the value of side QR, therefore first we use Pythagoras theorem to calculate QR. Now, in triangle PQR, angle PQR is 90 degree. Therefore, according to Pythagoras theorem, the square of hypotenuse that is PR square is equal to sum of squares of other two sides. Other two sides are PQ and QR. Now PR is 13, it's a square. PQ we have it's 12 square. QR is unknown. 13 square is 169. This is 144. And QR is unknown. Therefore, QR square can be written as 169. Sending 144 on the other side, so it's sign changes, so we get minus 144. Therefore, QR square is equal to 25. QR equal to square root of 25, so QR is 5 centimeter. Now, tan P can be written as, as we know, old Harry and his old aunt. In the sense, old aunt gives us tan. So, old is nothing but opposite. So, this is adjacent. Therefore, we can write it as opposite side is QR. Adjacent side is PQ that is nothing but tan P equal to QR is just now we calculated it is 5 PQ is 12 now we calculate cot R so for cot R opposite and adjacent side changes because now our focusing angle is R so the opposite side of R is nothing but PQ so this becomes opposite side and this becomes adjacent initially this was opposite side and this was adjacent side now cot r is nothing but reciprocal of tan it means it is adjacent upon opposite that is nothing but adjacent side is qr whereas opposite side is pq therefore cot r is nothing but qr is 5 whereas pq is 12 now tan p minus cot r is nothing but tan p is 5 and 12 cot r is 5.12 therefore tan p minus cot r is nothing but the terms get cancelled so we get 0 so this is the solution of second problem